Looking at crypto, oh boy, lots of uh, red, lots of down. You can see, you know, the MACD uh, started to go into bear div and actually confirmed there about the 24th of January. You can see RSI. Keep in mind, RSI is actually one of your best overbought, oversold indicators. And you can see RSI got all the way up to 88. I mean, that's ridiculously overbought. RSI does not get up into that those high 80s very often. There's one time there. There's one time there. There's one time over here. Look at this div. And look how the market had to work. It's all the way back down here. So, and of course, Willie was completely and utterly stupid. <laughs> I think in public broadcasts, I even talked a little bit about this, where, you know, if we had crossed back above trend lines and started to W out, then I have to start thinking bullish. But clearly, we were rejected violently off of that trend line and started to break down in earnest. In fact, we've gone so far to the downside now. 66% that this bullish bot scenario is actually officially off the table. Uh, it's just not valid anymore. So what is valid? And I think on the Wednesday show, we had shown you that uh, at the same time that that bull, uh, bullish uh, potential setup was firing, we also had this potential bearish one. And uh, we even talked on the Wednesday show about, oh, it looks like we're breaking down here. And then the question ultimately was, how do you draw your head and shoulders as as one thing I did notice when I was looking at this Bitcoin chart was, gee whiz, a heck of a lot of sort of very valid reasons that if we lost this level in here, we really should go down into this area here. I've always told you guys, the number one thing that we like to see in a market at any given point in time, just to you know reaffirm that it's a healthy market, especially if you're in like a rip roaring bull, is you'd like to see periodic 38.2 checks just to keep everything in line, right? We don't want the market to get too overbought. You don't want it to get too runaway. So just come back down. You know, we have Colin uh, over on Hero Exchange, his pump chaser zone, 50%, 38.2 kind of area. Yeah, makes sense. I think uh, Paul even called this a Wyckoff check. So it made sense that we probably would want to check that top. I'm not quite sure about that, but nonetheless, there it is. It's happening now as we speak. A, B, C, Ds, that would take us down into that 38.2. Uh, you can see 200 period moving averages needed to be tagged. Uh, and interestingly enough, uh, this head and shoulders pattern, if it's legit, then the target is the head down to the neckline and then a projection of the neckline down, same distance, that'll be your ultimate objective. Again, another reason for us to head down into uh, 38.2s. In fact, actually the ABCD takes us down into this level. So here we are, it happens, good to see. Um, you know, obviously we're probably gonna wanna wait for signs of even maybe uh, actually probably what we'd really would like to see is uh, signs of divergence where maybe we get lower lows in price, but you look down at your indicators and you actually see the indicators are actually making higher lows. So that's the very first thing that we're gonna wanna see to actually officially say that this down move is over. And then once we get the confirmed divergences, we're gonna wanna be looking for Ws on other sides of trend lines and those kind of things to start the bull again. So this is going to take some time to clean up. And the fact that we've done so much technical damage here, you know, I said the breadth indicator was kind of hinting that maybe it wanted to start turning up. Nope. <laughs> the one good part about this, though, is you can now officially say the market is no longer stupidly overbought. And that goes back to our Bitcoin chart here, where you can see, I mean, that overboughtness is finally getting cleaned up. Daily chart, you see any signs of bullish divergence here in the momentum indicators? No. Any signs of Ws or even RSI being oversold? No. Is Willie stupidly oversold? Do we have the public coming in and panic selling? No. Uh, are the buyers themselves driving the bus or are the sellers themselves driving the bus? Looks like the sellers are driving the bus right now. You can see all the big red chunky bars. So for the time being, I don't think there's a big hurry to do anything here in the market.